Virginia Beach is at the center of one of the country's most watched congressional races. Congresswoman Elaine Lurie and Republican challenger Jen Keegan's face off tomorrow to find out who wins Virginia's second congressional district. Compared to when Luria first won that seat in 2018, this election day process will look far different. Alex Littlehales is live in Virginia Beach with a look at exactly how many votes are already in and across the state. Right, Alex? That's right, David. The numbers already tell us about one of every six registered voters here in Virginia Beach have already cast their ballot. And the numbers also tell us that that's about on par from what we saw last year in the race for the governor's office. But elections officials told us today they're seeing a, a shift in trends in who exactly is casting that early vote. A lot of people are availing themselves of the early voting process is certainly making the election day voting a uh, the exception and not the rule. A midterm election where election day itself figures to be a less chaotic experience. Years of voting updates have now led elections to look a little different in Virginia Beach, the largest city in the Commonwealth. So far, 53,000 people have already cast their votes early in person or absentee. If total vote numbers rival last year's gubernatorial race, when now Governor Glenn Youngkin defeated former Governor Terry McAuliffe, it would mean roughly one third of the city's votes are already accounted for. My impression now is that in 2022, it's a 50-50 proposition. I think you have just as many Republicans as Democrats voting early. And I think that's the change. You have more Republicans voting early. Jeff Marks, chair of the city's electoral board, says voting before Election Day isn't the same advantage for Democrats as it once was. The relationship has evened out. And in total, more than 900,000 votes have been cast early across Virginia. But Mark says it's unclear what these new norms of voting mean for the overall turnout of an election cycle. But the numbers are the same as last year. Uh, I guess the question is, is last year's election a much bigger deal than this year's? Yeah. You know, last year was a statewide races. This is a federal congressional seat plus city council and school board. Election officials also mentioned there appears to be a misconception about the number of ballots that are received by the registrar's office after Election Day itself. The elections officials tell us that they only received just over 600 ballots postmarked after Election Day itself. In Virginia Beach, I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. We're also told roughly 100 people have voted so far using the new same-day registration provisional ballot system in Virginia Beach.